Oh, hi everybody. Oh yes, we've got to do a guide on the Summer of Suffering. I'm just trying to enjoy my lunch. So I've just completed the 100%ing of the Summer of Suffering and I have done all that I need to do when it comes to the solo event. And I have left off one objective. I am going to be making this a part one and part two. The part two to this is that, and yes, I did miss out one of the bounty missions and I'm not happy about that, but is what it is. Anyway, we're talking about uh, the Summer of Suffering and that... I have missed off, uh, I need a hero. More on that a little bit later on, all about team setups and things I advise around the objectives. But this video is going to be about breaking down these individual fights and lots of options. Check out the link in the description if you've got no interest of in watching the video, but we'll quite happily check out the Google Drive spreadsheet. Just give the video a like, just support the channel, that's all I ask. Thank you very much, but let's go into all of these champions and options to take them down. Also, for those that want to like, watch and, and listen along, thank you very much, appreciate you. So we've got a plethora of champions to go against. I can't remember if one of these is one we haven't seen before. I think it's Infamous Iron Man. That's the one, okay? And by the way, if you used any champion that's not selected here as one of the options, put it in the comments because I will do a part two. It's important to gain information from you, the lovely community, to kind of go, well, this is a good option for this. And I'll be like, thanks. That really helps out and it can help out a fellow summoner. So please do that. So where do we begin? There's a ton of objectives. If you just want to like smash through the content, use our big guy Hercules and uh, set a pre like a set a team around him. Uh, loads of revives, and you'll probably be able to do it. In theory, except for that mole man fight, that's a little bit tricky. And 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 yeah, you might be like, yeah, no, that doesn't. Hercules weighing through everything doesn't exactly work. I also want to forewarn people. I did actually make a mistake, and that is because, I don't know where my headspace was, I think, last night when I was uh, doing the first kind of round of it. I didn't do the best first round through with the objectives that I need to, needed to, and I found that uh, I put a lot of pressure on the team that I was selecting, which was the one you saw a moment ago, to do my left-hand side. Look, at the end of the day, it's what is done is done, and I did it, but... I did less, I had less issues second time round, uh, well, sorry, I would have had less issues second time round or less stress second time round if I actually spent a bit of time just to kind of go, okay, well, these will do the objectives, what I need to do, and against, obviously, those that don't do objectives. The question might be, what is the best team? Like, what is the best team? Well, that's not exactly an easy answer, especially because lots of champions do things better than others. Like, Shocker, and Infamous Iron Man, more so Infamous Iron Man, are able to fully solo the uh, the Toad fight. Um, less with Shocker, more so with Infamous Iron Man. Uh, and more, uh, but then there's other outside ones there that fall into Saga, which is like Overseer. But of course, depending on how you set up your team, you might be like, well, I could bring in like Warlock, because he is classed as a hashtag hero. And I could also use Hercules. Because I'm not doing the saga one. Again, like how you choose and stuff. But let's talk about specifics. Bit of a forewarning on the AI around Toad. And that champion has that kind of, oh, I'm going to throw a special attack. I'm going to go uh, unblockable. And as well, you're going to be inverted controls, which isn't going to help out matters. And you won't know when he's going to throw the special attack. There's no kind of forewarning. If you can do, keep the champion to an SP1. I personally find it easier to dex. But that's something that's, uh, you know, a bit... <sighs> bit tricky. If you've got the ability to power, uh, not power, uh, heal block, that can be relatively helpful to the regeneration the champion gets. But when a champion has three prowess buffs, it means that he will go unblockable. So if you take the unblockable worry away from it, then you're just left with the fact that the champion will either do reverse controls or will root you in alternating SP1s or SP2s or specials in, in general with that one. There's not really a, like a super easy way to deal with this. I think Iron Man is the easiest way to deal with it, but there are others. That doesn't write off the fact of the vision being very good for this and most other champions it, and also Warlock, which can counter that healing element. Here's where I find myself messing up and that is bringing Hulk. I should have done the hashtag heroes instead of leaving it blank. I would have loved to use uh, Hulk, yeah, Hulk and even... Quicksilver on this particular fight. I think these would shred them. And as I said, like I learned my mistake, and hopefully you learn from from yours. If you're using Quicksilver, uh, Immortal Hulk, and of course Silk. Silk is a fantastic option for this. A six star I need to elevate in my roster uh, stat because it is a helpful champion. Even 
Luke Cage can be helpful against this particular destroyer fight. As I said, the right side for me was a write-off because I made some wrong decisions about the team that I was going to set up. Thankfully, it all turned, you know, really well. And I had a great fight against Infamous Iron Man. Just quickly talking about the left-hand side, I will get to Mole Man and Infamous Iron Man, but because you face them twice, it makes sense that I kind of talk about that once we kind of get to the last point of the video. So for Adam Warlock, who has buffed up uh, Don't Interrupt Me, and also on the Prowl, uh, Don't Intercept the Champion, a few mistakes that I have made with that one. I did want to go aggressive with uh, with Juggernaut, and I, I would say for, for this, and as I've put in my notes, avoid intercepting, watch out for Energize, passive, don't hit Stasis Pod, and uh, specials plus heavy, uh, do a special plus heavy, uh, uh, when the soul barb is counting down. So you see a soul barb towards the top right hand corner. If you can apply that onto uh, the the champion, onto Adam Warlock, it's probably the best way to do it, to kind of take it down. There are tons of options you could use uh, for this, whether or not you are going with. And people have used Hulkling. Uh, no, wrong one. No, actually, yeah, I am on the right one. Yeah, people have used uh, Hulkling. Uh, they've used uh, Venom. You've just got to make sure not to kind of like get you know, stomped on. Uh, the Gladiator works. Uh, Gallon, people have been out of cheeses with Gallon. Uh, I haven't tried Gallon yet. Gallon's one of my favorite champions, but, I, you know, I w would have liked to have kind of, like, tried that uh, with that. But there's some good XL options there, which kind of restricts you on your team setup. Maybe it doesn't, depending on the objectives you've got left. Vote on now. Now, because I... Uh, used a team, I kind of cheated, I feel like I cheated uh, with using Hercules, well look, Kabam cheat us with a state of AI at the moment, you know, takes uh, takes two to tango uh, with it, but there are relatively few options, I've seen some people use Bishop for this, and as much as I, I can't say I recommend that, I do think that Sunspot can work really really nicely, Hulkling of course, uh, Onslaught's an iffy one, depending on how good you are of Onslaught. I'm, I ranked three'd mine, and I ran out of gold. I ran out of gold, and I've got some gold, so maybe I can rank him up um, for stuff. Obviously, after the fact, Crossbones can work uh, as well. And whether or not you are playing into your options for Saga, non-Saga uh, for this, and the objectives that you've got in tow, you've got to be very careful about you know again team setup. You don't want to be screwed over with this. But uh, each to their own with who they've got for it. It kind of replicates what the same champions you might use for Adam Warlock. So that can be quite good. It doesn't limit you on uh, roster kind of uh, team setup, sorry. Okay, Mole Man. Mole Man's got Hubris. He's got Standing in Fear, Spite Tranquility. The more buffs you get, the more power the enemy gets on his Power Flood. The most ideal option for this is indeed Onslaught. Most champions do work depending on your threshold for kind of frustration. You've also got, uh, what is she called? Why is, why is it, like, Kate Bishop. What is that? Kate Bishop, uh, Spider-Ham. Spider-Ham's really good at this one. I actually found Juggernaut works. I don't know how Juggernaut worked, but when I got my rotation down with the champion, I found it worked. Weird. You can look to put in a Mega Sentinel work for me. Uh, Wiccan works. I think even Iron Man works for this. There's, there's some that do work relatively well. Uh, Chilf as well uh, works for this particular fight. So there's there's plenty of options to choose from to kind of help you out. And for a bit more specifics, I think it's just a case of bringing a champion to a special attack. It's not always easy because the champion will be quite defensive. And that means if you go and hit in the block, you'll be hit by it's unstoppable. So largely you have to find some dexing for the enemy, building their power to then try and evade back and uh, and kind of trigger off that power flood therefore he's a special attack and therefore he's able to be power stung theoretically it's not a brilliant fight and the ai is stinky so i would forewarn you on that one if they don't throw a special attack it's sp3 and gone but uh yeah good luck good luck final fight is infamous iron man you effectively will get your when en the enemy throws a special attack you will have to hit the champion within a length of time and knock them down Otherwise, they will, uh, with a heavy attack, um, I thought it was a special as well, no, it's just a heavy attack, finishes, yeah, yeah, so you have to do a heavy attack, and then you will have to, yeah, you'll have to do the heavy attack so you don't get burst with a ton of damage. There is stoppable, which is uh, punishing a special attack, it's your grit passive, 
which is somewhat helpful to you and I think that you need to be careful about shock because the shock passive will go on you if you do not hit so it's like Bane but with shock damage you also do get run and gun whenever the attacker dashes forward they gain a infinite fury charge which is great but effectively the main thing to focus on in this fight is knocking down the enemy as soon as you get that uh, cross counter pop up so yes that's to me is the most kind of worrying thing tons of options here dragon man iron man silk onslaught can work uh, kate bishop hulk champion isn't always like super receptive to that uh, hercules kind of works i i personally thought that uh, that juggernaut was a was a brilliant option that nearly got a solo for me because i messed up my fight originally with hercules so yeah it's all down to like choice of what you've got available i would stress to everybody do not worry about doing this right off the bat you do have a large length of time with this because it's like 27 or something days so you can get a lot of revives farmed in that, that length of time if you do some solo events so don't feel frustrated if you're not getting it like just save up a load of revives and then go in units and in because you can get some nice stuff from it. anyway who did you use? Put it in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be doing a best team selection type video and also expanding the Google Drive sheet to have that uh, objective, objective team setups uh, later on today in another video uh, once I finish work. So thanks everybody for watching. I need to get back from my lunch now. So thanks for the support. I'll see you soon. Bye.